What's up, internet? Everybody loves Noctua, but for us here in the Philippines, usually that comes with a butt. Solid, pero mahal. Noctua has issued its first CPU cooler in its Redux line, the NHU12S Redux. And will this affordable cooler finally allow us to remove the stigma from Noctua? Can we finally remove the pero mahal when we think about Noctua? We should know that Noctua sent us this item for review, but it had no say in what we had to say about the product. So the Redox line is Noctua's affordable line. It always comes in gray and it's targeted more towards budget-oriented customers. So they did have to cut some things from the regular U12S and some noticeable changes are Number one, the Redox does not come with everyone's favorite NTH1. So it doesn't come with its own separate thermal paste tube. Instead, there's pre-applied thermal paste in a hexagonal pattern. The pattern actually looks quite nice aesthetically. I mean, it's completely useless. You're just gonna plop that onto your CPU and you know, it doesn't matter. But again, it, it still looks kind of cool and props to Noctua. Number two, say goodbye to extra fan clips, the Y splitter adapter cable. Those things have all been cut from the U12S Redux. And perhaps most importantly, the Redux only has four heat pipes compared to the five of the U12S. And we'll get into that if that really affects the performance of the U12S Redux. And finally, the Redux does not have the soldered interface between the heat pipes and the cooling fins, which the regular U12S has. So there are a bunch of engineering changes as well as a bunch of accessory deletions to make the U12S a Redux version. Does the quality suffer with all of these cost cutting? So our usual test bench for testing CPU coolers, which we've been using for a while now, is an R33100. In an M80X case, the Deepcool MacCube 110. Again, our usual setup is we run it at the base speed of 3.6 GHz, 100% fan speed for 30 minutes, and then we get the temperatures. So baseline first on the stock cooler, 3.6 GHz, the temp hits 73 degrees. When we overclocked it to 4.2 GHz, the temperature reached 88 degrees. Then we put in the U12S Redux. Installation was quite simple. Again, Noctua is famed for having a relatively easy installation process and the Redux is no different. At 3.6 GHz, the max temp we reached was only 60 degrees. So that's a massive 13 degree difference from the stock cooler. Torturing the CPU more, we did the overclocking test, 4.2 GHz and the temperature reached only 72 degrees or a massive 16 degree difference from the stock cooler. Plus, we were able to do something with the U12S Redux which the stock cooler couldn't do. We pushed the overclock all the way up to 4.4 GHz. We've actually seen this extreme overclocking in some of the other CPU coolers that we've tested. For example, the Deepcool AS500 Plus. And so it's a testament to the Redux that it can keep up with that kind of quality of cooler. At the extreme overclock of 4.4 GHz, the max temp we reached was 80 degrees. That's around a 20% performance gain from the base clock speed and 80 degrees is still quite respectable temperature-wise. You can basically run that all night and day without any problems. And it should be noted that AMD's stock cooler is no lightweight. It's quite good for a stock cooler. And so the wide difference between the U12S Redux and the AMD stock cooler again point to the overall performance of the U12S Redux. But we're not done. For the heck we changed cases. From the M80X MacCube 110, we decided to try it out in the Fractal Design Define R6 because why not? <laughs> we love playing around with Noctua and the R6 comes in white so we thought let's let, let's see like just aesthetically I bet that gray would pop in the all white case. So we expected the temperatures to be cooler because larger cases and the R6 is quite a large case. Large cases usually perform better because all of that extra space allows more heat to dissipate. You know not everything is crowded together and that's what we saw. For the OC test, 4.2 GHz, we reached a maximum temperature of 70 degrees. At the extreme overclock of 4.4 GHz, all variables still being equal, we hit a max temp of 78 degrees. So that's roughly around a 2 degree difference between what we were seeing from the MacU 110 into the larger 
R60. But we're still not done as Noctua also sent over the NAFK1 Redux kit which is basically the add-on fan for the CPU cooler. So we tested it in the R6 test setup and with the two fan setup at the normal speed of 3.6 gigahertz we got a max temperature of 57 degrees which is 5 degrees cooler than the single fan setup. At the overclocks of 4.2 and 4.4 gigahertz we got a temperature difference of 2 degrees. So on the one fan setup the 4.2 gigahertz hit a maximum again of 70 degrees with the two fan setup it was 68 degrees and with the two fan setup at 4.4 gigahertz we hit a max temperature of 76 degrees so there is a noticeable performance increase with the second fan and that is quite easy to install to the rear of the cooler as well so this retails for around 50 dollars and does this cooler justify removing solid pero mahal in the way that we think about noctua and yeah, I think it does. This guy is super solid and for $50, that's a great price for this kind of performance. It is the Redux line, but it still lives up to the Noctua name, the Noctua quality, the Noctua feel good na, oh, ang galing talaga nito. I was really impressed with this thing. Hindi na siya solid, pero mahal. Solid na lang siya. But, <laughs> we have to add another pero. The thing is, yes, it's $50, pero available ba siya sa atin? So, May bago na tayong pero, solid, pero available ba siya? And it would be great if it comes out at MSRP here at $50. I do not know and it's coming to our shores. But if you can get it at the suggested retail price, then this is a very solid cooler and we'd actually like to carry it here at Hardware Sugar. I guess I need to pressure our supplier now. So para sa Noctua NHU12S Redux, solid, pero sana available siya soon. Thanks for watching. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin tungo puan nato. De joke lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, Richard Ongkinko, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.